Hi, so this is the front cover to this week's Entertainment Weekly, and it's such a strange cover. There's something about this cover is very bizarre, and it's this. So, it reads, Captain Marvel, intergalactic odd couple Brie Larson and Samuel L. Jackson return to 1995 to fight aliens sexism. I find that such a strange and bizarre combination to have in a movie. This is a big budget movie, $150 budget. It's the target, I would estimate, about, about a billion dollars. That's what they're hoping to make from it. And yet they're mixing f- the concept of fighting aliens, which is which is quite conceivable. You can, well, There's been many big budget movies based on the aliens, because aliens can be very creative, very interesting characters. Very, It's a form of escapism. So we can go to the movies and watch these very strange characters behaving in completely original ways to humans. Very interesting sometimes. But then you're throwing in this whole element of sexism in a very strange combination. I've never heard of this. I can't think of a movie before, a big budget movie that has a form of science fiction and aliens, then throws in a whole load of sexism politics. It to me it doesn't I can't understand how it works. Because if you have the aliens, I take it they're not the sexist people or the sexist element of this movie. So it must be the humans. So it looks as if there's this movie is going to be based on humans who are sexist. Then these aliens come to Earth. So who's worse? Is it the humans who are sexist or is it the aliens? It's just a bizarre combination. It doesn't work in any sense whatsoever. Why throw in the politics into a big budget movie? Right, all movies would have some form of politics. In, for example, with Wonder Woman, you have the element of Nazis, and you you could have you could say. You know, it's, it shows how women can be strong characters. But, but Wonder Woman done it very, very well. And Gal Gadot said they wanted Wonder Woman to be a normal person. They didn't want this huge element of feminism running through the movie because they knew it would come across as a bit strange and exclude people. So it's say, if you're not interested in politics, if you want to watch, you know, a, a big budget blockbuster movie then you're not going to like Wonder Woman. And that's why they didn't do it. They they just made a movie of a really interesting, great character. He went through a great character arc. And, and it worked really well. But with Captain Marvel, they seem to be doing the opposite. They're saying, we want to make this character who's politically aware, who's have this certain level of wokeness. Now, there will be an audience who want this. There will be an audience out there who wants to watch a movie of a character fighting aliens, and he's very political. But I think that audience is the minority the minority of the audience will want to watch this movie that's my opinion i might be wrong and again it, uh, and if you want to watch this movie that's completely your choice but to make a billion dollars you need about 70 million people to go and watch a movie now 70 million people will go and watch a movie fighting aliens but if you say to them oh this movie also has politics in it many of those 70 million people will think well i don't want to watch that actually i've changed my mind I want I want to watch a movie about escapism and fun and interesting characters. I don't want to watch a movie that's got politics. Now there may be small, much smaller budget movies that are based on politics, are heavily based on politics. They're documentaries, they're dramas of political situations that have actually happened, and they can work and they could be great movies. But they're not mass market movies. That's the key. A, bu- a big budget movie like Captain Marvel is mass market. And if you take that mass market of 70 million people and then you start to tell people that it's about politics, I just believe that some of them just will not want to watch this movie. And I just find it such a strange combination. Instead, especially at this stage, Cap- the Marvel Universe is coming up to the end point of, you know, in terms of end game. And then they're going to throw in this strange combination of fighting aliens and sexism. It's like Donald changing all their milkshakes and combining their milkshakes together. They've got millions of customers who are happy with chocolate milkshake or banana milkshake. The McDonald's will say, well, we're going to throw milk, um, chocolate and banana together. And the customers don't want that. Why do that? You you know, you, you built this huge success and then you're going to try and sabotage yourself by mixing elements together that don't go together, that the mass market don't want. It seems a very strange thing to do, and I, I just don't understand why they've done it. But if you, if you have a different opinion, if you think this can be a great movie, and there should be you know a lot of, sex, a lot of sexist politics and politics that addresses particular issues in the movies, then, then fine, leave a comment below. But from my, from my opinion, we get enough politics already. You, you can watch it on the news, obviously. 
but also in chat shows. Most chat shows are rammed full of political discussion, obviously mostly around Donald Trump. So people want to go watch a movie to forget about that. They get a couple of hours of escapism where they can watch, you know, a Marvel character fighting aliens. It's something different. But instead, what Marvel have done, they've thrown in that politics that we're surrounded by in our day-to-day lives. The politics that's in the news and the chat shows is now in our movies. And it's as if we can't get away from politics. We can't get away from being told a certain group of people are wrong, a certain group of people are right. Whereas blockbusters are about just bringing everybody together, making some really entertaining movies that are just popcorn movies and just escape so i just think this is a very bizarre combination that and the captain marvel will not work because it's such a strange combination that doesn't work fighting aliens and sexism just sounds very bizarre to me but let me know what you think in the comments below if you disagree that's completely your choice and if you like this video please subscribe and also share it but for me i find it's a very strange combination but we'll, we'll see what happens that's that's all we can do